Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is trying again to get his racketeering trial moved to federal court. Attorneys for Meadows are invoking a 234-year-old statute in hopes of transferring his state charges in the Fulton County election interference case. He'll make the argument that his alleged crimes were part of his official White House duties under former President Donald Trump. Meadows, along with Trump and 17 other defendants, are facing charges in Fulton County brought down by the district attorney, Fannie Willis. Here with more is on this is NBC News correspondent Blaine Alexander in Atlanta. Blaine, good morning. You know, back in September, a U.S. district judge ruled that Meadows didn't meet the threshold to move that case to federal court. So tell us what we can expect today and what Meadows is hoping to get out of this. Well, Christine, good to see you. What they're trying to do is overturn that ruling. So what we're seeing today, this is the U.S. Court of Appeals. And so teams for Meadows, teams for the district attorney in Fulton County are going in and basically arguing again before a panel of federal judges. Now, Meadows' team is basically saying that he was Trump's chief of staff at the time. So therefore, everything that he did in the name of his former boss falls under the umbrella of basically his federal duties. But as we saw back in September, a judge ruled, no, that's not the case, that he was working outside of the color of his his duties as chief of staff. And instead, he was kind of working more on the campaign side. In fact, basically saying that he was working more for the Trump campaign because the things he had to do had to do more so with the election than his duties as chief of staff. And so certainly that's what he's trying to argue today, Christine. Both sides get about 15 minutes, so we expect it to be a rather short hearing. Blaine, what will Meadows need to prove, I guess, in order for the appeals court to rule in his favor? He has to prove that his duties had to do with his specific duties, or his actions, rather, had to do with his specific duties of chief of staff. Now, it's important to remind our viewers what he's being charged with in the first place. It has to do with his setting up that phone call, that now infamous phone call between the former president and secretary of state here in Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, in which the president asked Raffensperger to find enough votes to overturn Biden's election victory. Meadows set up that call, and that's one of the reasons why he's being charged. Another one has to do, uh, basically, with the fake elector scheme and kind of his... Uh, uh, involvement in trying to get those uh, get those voices out there. So those are the two things. He's arguing that it falls under the auspices of federal his federal duties. Now, here's what's important to ask why he actually wants to get it transferred, because if he were able to get it transferred to federal court, Christine, that means that he could argue immunity, basically saying I was acting as a federal officer. You guys can throw it out. That's certainly the big thing. But even if he isn't able to claim that, if it does go to trial and it's in the federal court, one, he's going to be able to likely draw from a more favorable jury pool rather than just Fulton County uh, citizens, which, of course, is a very blue county. We're talking about the entire northern district of Georgia, which includes a lot of red counties as well. And then the other thing is that if it's in federal court, it won't be on TV, something that Meadows would likely uh, try to avoid if he were sitting in front of a judge. Christine. Oh, interesting detail there. So has Fannie Willis, the Fulton County DA, said anything about this? She said something about a lot of things, not necessarily this, but what she has talked about is the trial date. You know, we, she's pushing toward an August trial date. She doesn't want to try any of the uh, remaining defendants separately. She wants to try all 15 together. Uh, and she's also said that the argument that was made by the former president's attorney, Steve Sadow, basically saying that if there was a trial going on during the height of the 2024 campaign, that would amount to election interference. She said it before, and she said it repeatedly, that she finds it ridiculous, in her words, that... A, a person, a defendant, could have their charges removed because they are running in an election. She says that would basically mean that anybody who was being charged with a crime could go out and run for city council and then have their charges wiped away. She says that's a dangerous precedent to set, and that's why she's not focusing on that and moving ahead. How could Christine. this affect other defendants and the case as a whole if he wins, I wonder? Well, I think that, you know, certainly a lot of people are looking at this. There are others who have kind of tied their uh, almost kind of on his coattails, if you will, uh, wanted to remove their cases to federal court as well. The uh, fake electors come to mind. Certainly they've argued that they should be removed to federal court. And so certainly if this is removed to federal court, it would set an interesting precedent, although he has the strongest argument out of anybody that it should be removed to federal court as former chief of staff. Christine. All right, Blaine, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.